Hello guys, my name is Pritin Jitya. Yeah, I hope you are all fine. Today I will show you remote code execution in live server and defacing a website. So let's start. I have fixyourip.com website as a target. Fixyourip.com provide online tools for system and network administrator. And it's a help to solve any DNS, IP, mail and network problems. Here is the field IP or domain which take a IP address or domain name. So I entered a IP address uh, followed by a semicolon and shell command ID. ID command is basically used to print uh, user and group ID. Uh, see the result, uh, it contains output of uh, ID command. Uh, it means the field IPO domain is not properly validated user uh, input and it's vulnerable to remote code execution. Now uh, we need to check the wget or webget is accessible or not by the uh, wget dash help command. wget or webget is a pro program that uh, retrieves the content from the web servers. Uh, see. This uh, this is showing the manual of uh, wget command so we can use it to upload a cell. Uh, now we need to a web cell re ready available on uh, another server so uh, we can get it from GitHub. So the snapshot of web cell c99.php. Now let's get source code of that cell. Sometimes Excel has password protected. See here, uh, there is uh, no password. So let's convert it in a row code and a copy shell link. Now this all command gets the content of web cell from specified URL and output will be stored in axe.php. There is no output. So we need to run ls-al command which will print the list of all files and directory on the target server. See here, hash.php is created but it is it size is zero it means we wget uh, is not working properly or correctly or blocked by uh, server firewall or something else uh, uh, but i have another way to get web cell on target uh, machine I have designed a web, I have designed a file uploader short PHP code which with a HTML form uh, but we can't directly uh, write on it on server file system we need to encrypt it for that we use simple base 64 encoding scheme
now we create a file with encoded content on the target machine. See, x.php successfully created with the encoded string content. Now we can create a new file by decrypting x.php file. Our uploader.php file is ready. We can upload any file to server from this uploader. Now let's upload our swap cell. I have readily uh, uh, already modified. I have uh, already modified web cell, so I am uploading it here. See, our web cell is successfully uploaded. Now uh, we can do anything with server. It, uh, it enable remote administrator of the target machine. Creating dot uh, x dot php and uploader dot php file from the target and uploading my defense page to defense that website. Happy hacking, be safe and secure, thank you.